Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to walk you through how you can play Left 4 Dead 2 in VR. If you haven't already, I highly recommend you check out my original video on Left 4 Dead 2 VR to see if this is something that interests you, because I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty jank at times. But it's still being updated, and many of the issues I've had with it have already been mostly ironed out. So, before we start, uh, I do have a couple disclaimers. I highly suggest that you do not try this if you have photosensitivity or are prone to seizures. While it has gotten a lot better, when the game struggles on rare occasions, this game can have some of the worst flashing lights and rainbow effects I've ever seen in a VR game. This is just a mod for the real Left 4 Dead 2 after all, so don't expect a bug-free experience. Even if you have a powerful PC, a powerful PC isn't going to help much when the game engine itself is the thing that's struggling. But you know, if you are prone to seizures, you probably don't have a VR headset to begin with, so I just gotta put that out there for safety's sake, you know? Also, this does require that you already have a copy of Left 4 Dead 2 for PC. It won't work on console, and it's not on Quest or Oculus stores. You can use those headsets, but you need to use Steam VR. All right, so actually installing this mod is really easy. First, go to the provided link in the description and download the latest version like this. While that is downloading, we are going to get the game's graphics settings ready. The mod download page provides recommended settings, but I don't use these. They focus much more on shading than texture resolution, and unless you're on something low res like a CV1 or PlayStation VR, you're really going to notice that low texture quality over better shading. So I recommend using these settings for better textures and a much better looking overall experience. Go to Options, Video, and Advanced Settings, and make sure your settings are the following. Aspect Ratio is widescreen 16x9. Resolution doesn't matter, but it's better to make it native in my experience. Don't worry, this isn't going to cause lag as the game window isn't going to be mirroring your display. You just use Steam VR view for that. Display mode set to run in a window. Film grain, I just leave that as default. Anti-aliasing mode set to X8 MSAA and filtering mode set to Anastropic 16X. And trust me, you're going to need it. Wait for vertical sync should be disabled. Shader detail should be set to medium. Set effect and model and texture detail to high. You'll want to leave multi-core rendering off in most cases and page pool memory should be set to high. You can lower the shaders, textures, and pool memory more if your performance is poor, but for now, these are the settings you should aim for. Now, we need to actually install the mod and set the launch options. Go to wherever you downloaded your zip file for the mod and drag it into your Left 4 Dead 2 install folder. This is usually on drive C or wherever you install Steam games. In my case, it's drive E. From there, go to Program Files x86, Yours probably doesn't have the Oculus logo on it, that's just a remnant from when I used a CV1 on my end. From Program Files x86, go to Steam, then Steam Apps, Common, and Left 4 Dead 2. Drag the folder in here and right click, then click Extract Here. For me, I already have an older build, so it is asking if I want to replace the files, so I click Yes to All. This is how you will update the mod in the future as well. Now, you can delete the zip folder, and that's it. The mod is installed. But before we play, we need to set the launch options. Go to your Steam library and right-click Left 4 Dead 2, then click Properties. Launch options should be at the bottom under General. You can just copy and paste the launch options from the description instead of trying to type it all out, but it should look like this when you're done. From here, we can launch the game. It may take one or two game restarts to get this to work, from here, SteamVR should open automatically when launching the game. If not, launch SteamVR manually first, and then launch the game again. You will get a warning that you are not VAC secure. For reasons that are probably obvious, you can't play on official servers with this mod. But that doesn't stop you from playing on locally hosted servers. To play with your friends in VR, they don't actually need to have this mod. But you do need the host to have it installed. That means your friends don't need VR at all to play with you while you're in VR. For now though, let's make sure everything is working first. Now we're going to do the rest of this in the head mounted display, but you don't have to. I just think it's a lot easier. Use SteamVR Desktop View, Desktop Plus, or just use your regular desktop, and navigate to Campaign and choose your settings like normal. Start loading in, and the moment the campaign has fully loaded, close the SteamVR menu and hit the A button on your controller. 
If you have a Rift or a Quest, the A button is the bottom face button on the right controller. If you have an Index, A is the bottom face button on both controllers. And if you have a Vive... So sorry. Now you should see your character spazzing out as the camera pans. That means it's working. Now let's switch over to the live footage for the basic controls. The left stick is movement, of course. Clicking the left stick recenters you if you end up walking out of your play space or are walking through walls. For example, I'm gonna click left stick. There you go, fixes it up. The A button is jump. B is grab. B is also open and close doors. Right grip is crouch. Right trigger is shoot. Left grip is reload. Left trigger is bash. Clicking the right stick toggles the flashlight. Up and down on the right stick switches between weapons and med packs. And left and right on the right stick changes your camera. And that is how you play Left 4 Dead 2 in VR. If you have any additional questions or need help troubleshooting, you should check out the mod's Discord, Flat Screen to VR. Link, of course, is in the description. Let me know if you want to see more Left 4 Dead 2 VR content and consider subscribing. It really does help out a ton. I hope this was helpful in teaching you guys how to install this mod, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye!